Hello and welcome back. This is still tea time. <laughs> I'm sorry that I was getting over yeah. overheated, but we all decided let's just move on from Omali and Thames. But we are hoping for their release because that's what they deserve and they should bring them back home safely. Um, but let's move on really quickly to, I guess you can say, more positive news, uh, at least for me, which is Nigerian music heavyweight Davido, who is currently in celebration mode at his latest album that hits 213.2 million Cumulative streams. Don't me to take that again. Oh, <laughs> um, 213.2 <laughs> million cumulative streams mm. in just a month. Ooh. Davido disclosed that album, which he dropped on... The <laughs> <laughs> he dropped on the November 13th, has now generated that amount of streams, exactly a month after the studio project was released. The album is a compendium of good music collated from some of the finest artists from local and international music scenes all over the world. The breakdown of the streams revealed that the album got 54.7 million streams on Apple Music, 11.5 million streams on Spotify, 15.7 million streams on Boomplay, and 95.5 million streams on Audiomack. Mm. And of course, 35.8 million streams on YouTube. Sharing the good news with, uh, with his over 18 million followers, including if I'm mine, <laughs> the femme Corona Rhodes, forever grateful, more to come, a better time. And that's so period. Ifa, did you hear that? <laughs> yes, I did. I'm very happy for David. I don't know why you guys are trying to make me look like I don't like David Doe at all. I do love David Doe. Mm -hmm. I'm just a bigger fan of Whiskey. Is there a problem no, with it? No, there's no problem at all. I just no problem. Problem. Okay, I'm just a Whiskey music fan. So, mm. if it's about, it's not, there's not, see, this is exactly the problem with the youth. And the young ones. Uh, see, who are you? Yeah, and, 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 and the young you. ones these days, you know, you're try, trying to pitch people against each other. The fact that if I prefer if, one If person, I was sitting on this table Thank and this was about whiskey. How? Of course, not because, oh. like I said, <laughs> at, at, at least, at least, when I say I don't make you guys look like you hate whiskey, do I? <laughs> If uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> drink your tea, <laughs> mm -hmm. drink your tea. What I say, I don't make it look like you ate whiskey. I don't let you know. I just celebrate greatness, mm -hmm. like I will be celebrating for Davido as well. Davido has always been part of greatness, and we, there's no way we're going to be talking. We are going to be talking about um, the Nigerian music industry without mentioning uh, Davido and the things he has done. So this doesn't come as a shock or as a surprise to me because yes, he is Davido. I expected more. I expected this, you and I'm sure. Did you expect? him to give uh, made in lagos social distancing like that <laughs> made in lagos yeah. did he yeah did he, uh -uh. Did he? in one month did over a hundred oh. if eh? mm -hmm. <laughs> So did you expect that? I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, just Should, did you expect that social distancing? That he you see, that's it? no. The problem is it, do, it doesn't. This, this, it doesn't matter. Oh goodness! It really doesn't matter. How many followers does he have? How many does whiskey have? Those are the things you need to check out. Okay. Really? Yes. Followers. Is he a socialite? Is he a social media influencer? Are you sure he it's has not the more we followers than you? Okay, whatever it is, congratulations, <laughs> David. Oh, big shout out to you. Like, I'm enjoying set. this. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I'm so happy. Yes, mm. I'm a David Ostar. Whiskey broke 21 records. I'm not even going to make it about Whiskey. He broke 21 records. It, it's nothing compared. We don't even do let us go there. Now. Don't let us, don't let us even go the, there. We we're talking about global. We're talking about global. Oh, come oh, on. If now you're reaching. You're like, oh my gosh, I need something to hold on to. No, I'm not I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I want to make this about David Do and not bring the Whiskey. I am happy. Leave it on David Congratulations, David. It's not about Whiskey because if I really. Um, what's want to break it song? down. Go, hey, this is they talk too yes. much, fam. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is a big brag. Okay. I think what really kills it for me, like, like I'm over the moon. It's not that he got that much numbers. It's that he got it in a month. Mm. Like, mm. that is a big brag as far as I'm concerned. Like, I mean, he, they've always said it. Remember, I always used to say on the table that I, I stepped on David for a while. Like, I wasn't a big fan, okay. really. This kid was more my guy. He's still my guy, but... David Doe now is leading that. But he's, they've always said it on Twitter that he makes the numbers. Like, you see prom promoters and people who organize events. I'll tell you that he is the biggest when it comes to numbers and pulling a crowd and sending out shows and all of that. And they've been saying it. And I used to wonder, like, are you, are you sure? Like, because I, I wasn't really feeling his music like, oh, my gosh, I want to die. But, you know, like, they always used to say that. And I think this is just one of those 
Oh, things good. he hasn't done anything out of the ordinary like if i mentioned like he this is keeping to his um his record but i'm not gonna lie this year i felt a bit threatened for him especially mm -hmm. with the way twice as straw was going okay. not even made in lagos twice as straw was ah gang gang you know the biggest <laughs> thing of the best <laughs> thing after fried rice okay. or something you know like really really big and it was making all these waves and the numbers and the streams and all of that that I wasn't sure if whatever um, David was working on would be able to compete. Um, and then Made in Lagos um, came. I'm sorry, that was not a competition for me. Mm -hmm. But I just felt like, yeah, okay, Made in Lagos is also cool. Because, I mean, Whiskey is on it. And that also has its own... It has its own brag to it and stuff, but I didn't really think, oh, okay, I'm threatened by um, Whiskey's work. But Burner Boy, so when he's when his own came out, and there's a few songs actually on A Better Time that I'm just like, eh. Okay. Sure. The one with Nikki annoys me because I just expected a lot more from that yeah. song. But it seems like the world is still loving, still you know, the, David Doe yeah. and his music and all of that. But I'm going to also say that I, I don't think it's just the music. I think what David Doe has against everybody else is also his person. Mm -hmm. Like people fall, when people fall in love with you, not just your music now. Okay. When they fall in love with True. you, they go harder. And it's too clear here because I'm not going to say that he produced songs that were like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I've never heard anything like it. It's so extraordinary. It's his best work I ever. Okay. I wouldn't even say that. But I think it's because he's been so kind, at least mm -hmm. to his people, the way he's writing for his friends and all of that. Mm -hmm. that I think that's what the world has um, fallen in love with more so than his music. But okay. obviously, congratulations <coughs> to you, David Doe. Congratulations, David Doe. I think you lived up to your name as the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's a period. <laughs> period. Thank you. And what you said about his personality, I think I've, I've always been the one to talk about how great I, I think David Doe is. Mm. And even our guest yesterday, Leah, I remember, mm. you could see the joy and yeah. happiness you felt working with David Doe. That yeah. shows that, okay, he's a very, very wonderful person, talented. Yeah. And I love the way he understands the business of music. Mm. It's not just the songs right now. He, he understands how the music industry works. Mm. And he knows what to, um, what to produce, um, what to release, yeah, mm. to capture his audience. So yeah. congratulations, David Doe, because I'm not even shocked that he got this, because I know how many times, me, sir, personally, I, honestly, I streamed that's 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 last draw, that's this that's one. That's Jojo. Jo. Uh, and the music hmm. videos we released for oh, those yeah. songs were absolutely amazing. So big ups to David Doe. You yeah. did an amazing work this year. All right. Okay. I think enough of like. Uh, on. Ask <laughs> sorry. Did you say Excuse something? My what? Oh, sorry. No, congrats. Oh, okay, David Doe. Okay. Big shout okay. out. Okay. A better okay. time. No. Okay, guys, we're kidding. Well, if I actually is not a hater of David, we're just yeah, trying we're to like pick on the air. Well, anyway, the world knows. Uh, <laughs> moving on to the foreign scene now, we have Kim and Courtney Kardashian who have accused, who have been accused of cultural appropriation after their children performed a Maori haka dance. Scott Dixick, the father of Courtney's three children, shared a video of his kids taking part in the traditional New Zealand ceremonial dance on his TikTok page. With his daughter Penelope joined by two friends and two of their cousins, Kim's children north and st west however many of his followers were quick to point out that the children doing such a dance without a familiar link to new zealand themselves was cultural appropriation and i quote how about you teach your kids native american culture before incorrectly teaching teaching them about our culture our cultural hacker one person wrote another person added thought 2020 couldn't get worse the kardashians think the hacker is a TikTok dance then a third comment a third commenter said my heritage better not be a TikTok dance challenge. I don't care that they have learned the real words rather than making up their own. This is a sacred, this is sacred. Stop appropriating cultures. However, Maori Council Executive um, Director Matthew, which is basically a source to the actual culture, said he's trying to see the positive of the TikTok, namely spreading awareness of the ceremonial dance. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, yes. Um, for okay. me, for me, let me let me quickly go first. When I saw this, I'm like, whoa, the world needs to calm down, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, a lot of people just see, yeah, I know we're all about cultural appropriation, especially when New Zealand is the minority and they are like the majorities. People say, teach them this. But did you even look at the bright side of some of these things? Now, I didn't know about the Aka ceremonial dance mm -hmm. until I saw this. Now I know about it. I read up on it. Now I'm informed. Do you know what, I mean, people that have gone to read up on it and do you know how many people that can, okay if i if i had the money or if i could afford to go to new zealand because of what i read about new zealand while studying on that I, that's a place i want to visit okay you know, no hold up okay. so because of that 
I would definitely say that, okay, it's all right, but unless they're doing it for a selfish reason. But clearly, these are just kids having fun with their parents and they just did a dance and they put it on TikTok. So people sometimes need to pipe down. It's not like they're trying to make any money out of it. It's okay that, uh, okay, I, I know where people might be coming from that, okay, because of their TikTok account and because you're celebrities, they're probably getting paid for a post. So... That's where the appropriation might come in. But aside that, I don't see anything wrong with this. Okay, um, and we're reading up on the news because there's a backlash. If there wasn't a backlash, nobody would be talking about kids dancing, first of all. So let's get that, let's get that straight. So the backlash they, is the positivity. No, the backlash is negative. You're saying that you learn, you're learning more about Haka and the dance. You're only doing that right now because there is a backlash to the video. They've made heaps of videos with heaps of children dancing. If I the followed reason them why on it's TikTok, bringing, I probably would have read it up because I would have, it was right there. They wrote it. They didn't claim it. They didn't say, this is our dance. They tagged it. Do you understand? They so did if a I followed challenge them, on Instagram that is not, I mean, on TikTok that is not, um, what's it called? contributing back to the culture. There was nothing about New Zealand. There was nothing about the history. There was nothing about that. So cultural appropriation, again, like I said on the table a million times, mm -hmm. is when you use somebody's culture and you do not credit the okay. source of that culture. Mm -hmm. If I say for Halloween, I want to be Mulan. Okay. And in my post that I have a lot of influence where things that I do, I own. Like if I put a bandana on, if I'm a Kim Kardashian, I put a bandana on. The side really referring know. to um, bandana as Kim Kardashian's bandana. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you know you have that privilege and that mm -hmm. type of, um, what's it called, uh, influence. Okay. If you don't give credit to the person who owns what you are using, you are claiming that credit. Okay, so and you why... see the Kardashians always do that. It's so tone deaf to pretend like as if no everything is rosy and just a bunch of children. In... That are, I think that's like a, a, a childlike way of seeing things. There is more to life. There is things like racism and mm -hmm. cultural appropriation and things that are offensive to the minority. And if you do, if you disregard that, you are disregarding their, their struggles and their identity. I, the Kim Kardashian up. did it when she, when she you did a, a line where she did kimono or whatever she oh, changed yeah, the name that. now okay. where she said she named it as a uh, the cult the chinese people's mm. whatever whatever mm -hmm. that's a very good example mm. i'm pretty sure she didn't mean it she to was be making offensive. money off it. she didn't even what's it called you're making money off tiktok too but okay um she didn't mm. even like what's it called use the the actual outfit too. she was doing underwear but she named it something that was from asia and people came for her as well. It's not as if, no, it is a, a criminal offense, but it's insensitive to the people. We, I totally uh, agree with where you're coming from, but, and I think um, what we should be calling out for is not backlashing them like they have done something that they should be perse persecuted for. I think what we should be saying is, can you at least give credit to New They know Zealand? that. They're not kids. Kim, Kim Kardashian and her entire family know that they're supposed How to give credit. Know? They know because it's not the first time they have been accused of cultural appropriation. Okay. Since the history of time, you see, the truth of the matter is that that family is so detached from reality. And I'm not saying that that's their fault and it's a bad thing. Okay. But you're so, when you're so detached from reality and you don't make a conscious effort to keep your space diverse, you don't understand people's struggles. Okay. We always talk about rich so kids like that. So you think like intentionally that. they took you, I don't think it's, I think they're not intentional enough. Like, I think that if you knew, like a normal person like me, who's a minority, okay. when we see, um, what's it called, uh, Victoria's Secret, for example, having a wrong way and there's no black person. Because I'm black, I will notice it. If I was a white girl, it would be hard for me to notice. But if that white girl has access to black people, she will hear my struggle. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. They are so disconnected from minority groups. What if my market target is for white people? Hmm? What if my market target is for white people? Should I get angry? If I'm, a, as a businessman, I want to make... target is not for white people. True. I'm saying, no, from, from your example now, that look, um, if I see a Victoria's Secret and I don't see any black girl on the wrong way you're gonna notice what if that particular one is for white people it is not because every because white Victoria's people. Secret sells to black people oh. indigo oh. people I know black. but I'm saying that particular one they if want, it's for if they're selling for white people and you're only collecting your coins from white people sure go ahead then they make another one and it's just for black people sure, Would that, be a that's problem? okay yes but if you are taking money from me <laughs> and you are excluding me then oh, it's a no. crime I'm I, I'm, unfortunately, in this part of the world, in, especially in Africa, nobody cares about things like this. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about cultural appropriation. Nobody cares about yes, colorism. Not as much. Yes, we do. But abroad, it is a big deal, yeah. and they know about it. 
I'm okay. tired of talking about that. Can you remember when we spoke yeah, about the ocean thing that Beyonce used and all of that's that? That's still abroad. Eh? That's still abroad. I'm talking about cultural appropriation issues in Nigeria. Hmm. We don't have that. Yeah, because you see all all those white girl, all foreigners, let me, know, let, let me use race right now. They keep adopting our culture. You yes. see a white girl performing the bata mm -hmm. and everything. But should we get mad that they we didn't don't pay care. credit it's to It's very us? different because in Nigeria, we don't have a serious systematic racism issue. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a black community where the blacks are thriving. Okay. Abroad, if you put America into mm. context, where they have been ripped off constantly. Okay. Like, we've been doing braids for a long time. Mm -hmm. Cornrows Corn and braids. Rolls, the yes. black people have been doing that. They've been subjected for that. They've been fired for that, saying that you cannot take that to work. Then Kim Kardashian gets braids done, and now it's officially called the Kardashian braids. That is a true definition <laughs> of cultural <laughs> appropriation, meaning that when the owner of the culture does it, it's tacky. But when the uh, when there's the majority of the, which the white people and the Kardashians of the world okay. do it, then it's okay. You I, have to understand mm -hmm. that it's insensitive. Because I read the book, go, like, we a particular um, culture, you can't keep holding on to your culture. I read it somewhere that you have to share it with yes, the other share. people. Like, okay, you, you have this thing. She's just Educate. concerned about the credit. Thank you. Ed yes, yes. Me, credit. Yes, share. Yeah, share. Yeah, but like, people credit. like New Zealand should have like, okay, why are these children doing it? Do they have interest in it, this It's dance? not the job of the, of the viewers to do that. The person that's uploading it should be the one to say, this is what I'm doing. Even when... If People do that. Even when I wear a traditional outfit or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm going to tag, I'm going to write Owambe, I'm going to write Oashwebi. Okay. I'm giving it back to Nigeria that this is where it's coming from. Do you understand what I mean? Okay, okay. You're supposed Wanna. to do that, especially if you have influence. You're not celebrities, so you don't understand. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, let's go on a quick break, please. We have our special guest mm -hmm. coming in right after this. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.